This section heading is called Analyzing the Results. So now anytime you run a program, you always want to analyze the results to ensure that they are the expected results. So we specified within our launch configuration to store those results inside of a directory called output. So this directory is located inside of our project folder by default. And if we view the contents of that folder, we're going to see the results of our program. So we have a success file, and then we also have our reducer file. So we're going to explore the content within our reducer file. But first, let's go over what we should expect to see. So remember, our word count program is basically designed to give us a frequency of words. So now we're going to use the head and tail command to see if that's exactly what we see within the file. So we're going to type head, workspace, word count, output, part, and then tail, workspace, word count, output, and then part again. So we're expecting to see a frequency of words, and these should be unique words. But what we're finding is that our results actually are skewed. So it's considering punctuation, numbers, and also case to kind of represent a different word, right? So this is not an actual word count. Now in the next section, we're actually going to correct this problem. And in order to give us some sense of how badly things were skewed, is we're going to take a line count. So this is another way of saying how many unique words are actually in this file. So that's workspace, word count, output, part. And what we're going to find is that there's 6,882 unique words within this file.